I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. And in this one, I'm going to talk about uh, three different aspects of flip-flops. And they are propagation delay, setup time, and hold time. And let's start with uh, propagation delay. So let's say I have a flip-flop. And its output is currently low and its input is high, this being my low level there. And here is my clock. All right, so propagation delay for a flip-flop means that if this is a rising edge flip-flop, how long does it take between that rising edge, just draw a line like that, and when the output actually reflects the input. So this time right here is the propagation delay. So that might be measured in nanoseconds or microseconds if it's really slow. Um, that's your propagation delay. Setup time and hold time are related to each other. And let's say that uh, this is my clock. And this is a rising edge flip-flop. My setup time is for my input. How much time before that clock edge Do I need to make sure that my signal is, is nice and stable? And so if I have a, a setup time that's this many nanoseconds before my clock edge, then I need to make sure that I have my signal um, high or low before that. If it's transitioning in the middle of that, then it's not guaranteed that I'm going to get what I want on the output. Uh, now, your hold time is how long after the clock edge do you need to maintain that value? So right here's my clock edge, and this is my hold time, so like that. Now, the interesting thing is that when your voltage goes up, both of these become smaller. So uh, kind of think of it as your voltage goes up to the circuit. You've got a little bit more oomph to just switch the, the output as fast as it can. Uh, so this can become shorter. And this one, to a lesser extent, also becomes shorter. And one other interesting thing about the hold time is that it can be negative. So if my setup time starts here, if I have a negative hold time, then that defines this area right here as the time that my data has to be valid. And um, that seems a little strange because you know everything's supposed to happen on the clock, but that's the way it actually works. Uh, so if you look at data sheets, you'll see that it might be negative two or negative six nanoseconds. Uh, if you have a low voltage, it might be out here. And if it's a little bit higher voltage, it creeps up a little bit closer to the clock edge. So those are a few key things to look at when you're designing electronic circuit, uh, a digital circuit. And uh, hopefully you found this video interesting or at least useful. If you did, take a look at my other videos on my YouTube channel. Or I have a master index over at robotbrigade.com. Thanks for watching.